So a few months ago, I released a video where I ranked the top seven lightsaber companies in 2021. Spoiler alert, Vader's Vault got number one. And that wasn't all too surprising to me because probably for as long as I've ever been a Star Wars fan, I've only ever heard good things about Vader's Vault. After that video, I just decided, you know what? It's about time to see what all that hype is about. And that's what we got right here. Brand new, fresh off of the factory line. I actually don't know if that's true. I hope it is, but who knows? I wasn't there. We're going to open it right now. Let's open it. Uh-oh. I think I opened the wrong side. I see something. You see that? Up there? That's a blade, baby. A plector blade. This is very milky white. Seems very short to me. This is 32 inches NeoPixel. LEDs are inside of here. And then on this end, instead of an opening like you would have on other in-hilt lightsaber style blades, this has a PCB adapter, which I've talked about in previous videos. So if you don't know what this is, you want to learn more about lightsaber technology, go check out. So that is the blade, but the blade is nothing without the hilt. Feel something. Something's in there. Okay. Big dramatic reveal. And it's bubble wrap. <laughs> Big reveal. It's just more bubble wrap. Oh, you know what? I really liked this other video I did, an unboxing the green Ezra lightsaber. Ready? Whoa! <laughs> That's what I did last time. Look how shiny! Oh, is that an OLED display? Yes! A multi-threaded emitter. You got little openings down there for the speaker. I'm guessing that's the activation switch right there. That's so shiny. Gold multi-threaded emitter. Got that gold cover tech, baby. No inhilt LEDs in here. They're all in the blade. Should we try to turn it on without the blade? Damn, that's loud. Look at this, like a spinning Empire logo, possibly. That's just like a, a power battery effect. I don't think that actually means anything. Look at those lights. These are accent LEDs. Got some of the activation switch here. What is the second one? Oh, blaster deflection. Yeah, you gotta hold it a little bit to deactivate it. Okay, so I don't know if you could see in here, but there are tiny little pins inside that join up with this end of the blade and it communicates through the pins. Okay, so let's pop this in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn off the lights. Three, two, one. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, smooth swing. Look at that brightness, am I right? You know what, actually this is a good segue into some questions. So I asked a bunch of you on YouTube and Instagram if you guys had any questions about Vader's Volt lightsaber. Let's go through some of them. Wyatt Martin on YouTube asked, is it NeoPixel? Yes it is, as you can see. There is no fall off of the light. There are LEDs all throughout the blade. Makes it very evenly lit and beautiful and makes it possible to program a bunch of cool lighting effects, which I think came pre-installed, but we will see. Magister Higo Damask asked, is there a blade? If yes, is the blade bright? Does it make a sound or can it be used as a good decorative light? I don't know about that last part, but is it bright? Yeah, that's pretty bright. Uh-huh. Actually, let's compare. Got my handy dandy lightsaber case. Far North cases, by the way. Go check them out. I did a video all about this case. This is my green Ezra lightsaber. A Savi's Workshop lightsaber that I built at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Let's do Ezra first. So this lightsaber is from Saber Forge, unlike the Vader's Vault lightsaber, this doesn't have LEDs all throughout the blade. This blade is completely hollow. 
The LEDs are in here. That's why it kind of looks like a flashlight coming out. So here it is, ready? This one doesn't have any sound. And then here is Vader's vault. Can you tell the difference? Let's see how well does this light me up? And eh, not really. Oh yeah. We got a clear winner here. But I thought that was pretty clear. Vader's vault, you win. Savvy's workshop, here we go. Unlike Saber Forge and like Vader's Vault, this blade has LEDs going throughout the entire length of it. There is no light coming from the hilt itself. The difference is that this has far fewer LEDs than the Vader's Vault. Let's try this again. Hey Siri, turn off the studio. Damn, I feel so badass right now. So here's Vader's Vault, lighting up the wall behind me, lighting up my face. Here's Galaxy's Edge. Green, I think, is supposed to be a brighter color in general. I mean, that's certainly better than Saber Forge, right? Got Saber Forge over here. Overall, I would say this is just a smidge brighter. Yeah, definitely. Both pretty bright, though. This one is a clear winner. Next question, we got Brian Morton. Great dude, great friend. He's got a YouTube channel too, Always Believe. Go check it out, it's awesome. Why do those activation buttons look so Awesome, right? Here's a really cool fact. This piece right here. This isn't actually the activation button. If you look right next to this activation switch, you'll see something else protruding from the hilt casing right here. At first, I just thought this was like a random greebly that was added for cool effect, but I've since learned that this is actually designed after a seismic charge. That's that crazy blue shockwave bomb that came out of Django Fett. That Slave One ship in Star Wars Episode Stand 2, by. Attack the Clones. It also makes that really cool sound effect, like boom, boom, you know, for Jango Fett. More recently, Mandalorian Boba Fett shot one of these out of Slave One, had a couple ties. So yeah, that's what this is. That is also what inspired the sound font for this. So Vader's Vault went to some sound font maker, I forget his name, and asked him to create a custom font for this lightsaber specifically. And the only direction that they gave the sound font maker were two words, seismic charge. <laughs> and the guy just took it from there. So that's where this sounds inspired from. Right? Hell yeah. Okay, here's another popular question. How much was it? Um, I forget exactly. There were a lot of like add-ons, but I think the total at the end, about a thousand dollars. For uh, yeah. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> okay, next question, Adam ADZ. How long does Vader's Vault take to deliver? So I actually reached out to Vader's Vault and asked them this very question because I figured someone would be curious. And actually, here's their exact response. Right now, we are 26 to 32 weeks from order to delivery on most of our savers, each one is hand built in our shop to each customer's specifications. And because I can't do math, hey Siri, what is 26 divided by four? 26 divided by four is 6.5. About six and a half to eight months from Instagram. This is nsobo39. Are you satisfied with it? Like, was it worth the wait? I mean, I think it was. Here's a good question. Ryan Lee on YouTube. How do I navigate through blade fonts and styles with buttons? So it's about time to do a little experimenting. I did do a little bit of research while I was waiting for this but I haven't actually done it myself yet. So yeah, you have to put it in spectrum mode and that lets you select the colors, I guess, by changing the angle of your lightsaber. We got orange, red, white, purple, blue, a darker blue, like an aqua turquoise blue, a more greenish turquoise, but I don't know colors, you know what I mean. We got all of our colors from here to there. Oh, one too fast. So there you go. We got pretty much every color in the rainbow, which answers the next question, which color did you get for that? All of them. The benefits of NeoPixel. Okay, so I just figured something out. The same method you use for changing the color for activating that spectrum mode, you do it again. Spectrum, light profiles. Lightsaber styles. Oh, 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 o
Okay, this question is from Instagram. It's from Riley Hubble. If you could have a lightsaber, what color would it be and why? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you, Riley. That question actually really stresses me out, so. I would choose this. Next question from Star Wars Geek and Craft on Instagram. Don't you think it looks a bit like Leia's lightsaber from episode nine? I mean, I guess like at the top here with the multi-threaded emitter style, sure. That's pretty much it though. It's very smooth. Leia's has like ridges all over the handle. Next question, what do you think is the best lightsaber to buy if you don't have a lot of money? I think I answered this question in the top seven lightsaber companies video. Check out the Pac store. Next question, how thick is the hilt compared to other hilts? This is a Saber Forge Ezra's green lightsaber from seasons three and four of Star Wars Rebels, and this one is the Vader's Vault. Pretty similar, I would say this one is a little bit thinner, especially if you look at it from the side here because the sides are flat, it goes from round to flat, pretty cool design. And then pretty much anything is gonna be thinner than the Galaxy's Edge version. Savi's workshop. This thing is a monster. Feels heavy. It's like solid metal. This is what I expect a lightsaber to like feel like and to like what it must weigh. That's iron. <laughs> it's actually very light. A lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be more iron or like beefy or I don't know, but it's very light. It feels good. Very elegant design. Very clean and polished. Okay, next question from Roadman108. I really like your vids. Can you please answer my DM? It would mean the world to me. I see a message from you, Roadman, so I'm just gonna message you. JJ Comb 7 writes, that's so nice, fresh new saber. They should have a saber emoji. They really should. I know there are third party stickers or gifts or whatever, but they're really not the same. Actually, I was gonna submit an emoji proposal to the Unicode Consortium, but they are not accepting new proposals at this time. I think they're starting back up on April 15th, like a day before my birthday. All right, that is all I have energy for tonight. Let me know what you think of the Vader's Vault lightsaber that I just got. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them. I will try my best to respond. But until then, you will subscribe to this YouTube channel. We will keep on living Star Wars. Oh, real quick. A couple of you have been asking what's going on with the lightsaber building videos. They're coming. Had a couple paid promotion videos that I have to get out of the way first. And I've just been super busy. Like apart from my full-time job, I also have a side gig as a real estate photographer and videographer. And right now the market is just crazy, so that's been super busy. I'm not giving up this channel or anything. I just want to sign. I'm not going anywhere. I'll see you in the next video.